We can understand the voltage doubler by looking at it as two stages or two cascaded circuits that we've already looked at. This first part of the circuit is the clamped capacitor or voltage or the DC restorer. Clamped capacitor. And it's followed by the peak detector. And the overall effect is that it's going to take whatever the peak voltage is of this, offset it with a DC component, and give us then a peak voltage equal to two times the peak voltage of the original, or doubling the voltage. This is one place where you can get more voltage out than what you put in, just not more energy out than you put in. So how do we understand this? During the positive going part of the cycle, this diode was, will allow conduction. And so this time, the capacitor will charge plus to minus V peak, where V peak is the maximum value or the peak value of this sinusoid. So this point here then will be V in. Then we drop V peak or V in minus V peak. The lowest value we'll see here is when the input voltage is at negative V sub P. So we'll have negative V sub P minus 2 V sub P, or the most extreme voltage we'll have here, I'm sorry, not minus 2 V sub P, minus 1 V sub P to give us minus 2 V sub P. That maximum value, then, is detected or picked off by the peak detector. When this is negative 2 V sub P, this capacitor will charge up to 2, negative 2 V sub P, or minus to plus 2 V sub P. This will be at the lower point. When the input then goes positive, under normal conditions, the capacitor would then be drawing current into it to reverse the charge, but the diode prevents it from, from uh, going in this way, and so the capacitor then holds the voltage at negative 2 volts. So from here on, the voltage across the capacitor will be negative 2 volts. And the output is effectively twice as big as the input. You'll notice, I should point out, that there's still just a 2V peak transition from top to bottom. But because of the DC component has been added in here that drops it down, it dropped it down to a DC value of negative E sub P, and then the sine wave oscillates across that, and the capacitor picks off the peak.